Okay, so you just got your first film commercial television show and you're going to be on set and you're nervous as hell and you don't know what to expect. Well, this video is for you. My name is Doug Fall. This is Augmented Actor, where I help you augment your acting career with tips, tactics, and tech. So today's all about the tips. So now maybe you're a theater actor and you're used to be doing theater, or maybe you're a beginning actor and you have no experience doing uh, film. I wanna kind of help put your mind at ease and give you some, some advice and tell you kind of what to expect when you come to a film set. Now, so before you even arrive, you are going to be contacted by probably the first AD or whoever's in charge of the actors on the set. So you wanna make sure you have their contact information. You can, they'll usually ask you to text them or email them when you're on your way, give them a call if you're running late, anything like that, they're your point of contact. When you show up on set, you're gonna see a lot of people, depending on what's going on in the set, crew members setting up, people setting out uh, food, actors gathered in a corner, that kind of thing, it could be chaos. So you wanna just sort of ask somebody where you can find your point of contact, your first AD, and then go check in with them. It's very important that you let them know that you're there and ask them what they, where you need to go first. You will be referred to as the talent. Actors are always referred to as talent on set. So they'll say, bring the talent to set. And that means you. They'll probably send you off to costumes first because that's usually uh, the first step. So you wanna go in, they'll put you into your costume, make sure everything fits all right, looks good. Then they may send you to makeup and hair where they will put on your makeup, any special effects. They'll do your hair to make it look just right for that particular shot. Don't be a diva. Film is about a, a director's vision and a, a director of photography's vision. The costumer has a vision and the makeup person has a vision and stuff like that. Whatever they put you in, that's what you've got to work with. So make it work. If it doesn't fit with how you wanted to play your character, well, that's not your call. You have to adjust your character to fit the parameters that are given to you. And um, and then they'll send you into the actor waiting area, which could be way off set, could be in another location, could be right next to the set, something like that. But it's a, it's a green room, a waiting area. While you are there, you want to be very considerate about what's going on. You wanna be listening for your name to be called or somebody to come get you. You wanna spend that time to run your lines and work on, concentrate on your character and work on things, but it's also a great time to network with other actors, meet new people and see what's going on uh, in the film world. Same thing at lunch. If you're lucky to have lunch or dinner or breakfast served for you on set, that's a great time to get to know everybody. So sit and talk to the crew members or the director or uh, the prop person or the hair person or, or the other actors or the extras. That's a good time to get to know everybody and on a film set you should get to know everybody really well don't be a really chatty person and if somebody's clearly trying to keep their space make sure you save the chatter for later but uh, those are good times to actually talk and you will have a lot of time waiting sometimes you will wait 15 minutes sometimes you will wait three five ten hours uh, and it just depends on what's going on on the actual set so bring a book or your phone or a little game or something like that just one caveat with the phones you don't want to bring those on set and you don't want to be so that person that's always into their phone looking at their phone all the time because that's just kind of rude but if you're reading or studying your lines it's fine to use your phone also phones make noise so make sure your phone is turned off when you are on set they also interfere with uh, microphones and things like that. Be very careful about taking photos on set. Some sets are um, on the down low. They don't allow cell phones and photography and, and things like that. So you always wanna make sure it's okay. Ask permission to take photos. If it is okay, and it's like lunch or whatever, make sure you get some photos from your cast members so that you can remember that moment and maybe use it in some of your social media or promotional materials or, or something like that. It's always good to have something 
uh, to, to re remember the experience. Bring a backpack with you full of things that you might need on that set. Extra changes of clothes, you might want to bring a coat if you're going to be outside. Make sure you have band-aids, make sure you have some reading material, a charger if, you, if you're going to be using your phone offset. Uh, things like that are very important to make sure you're prepared. So bring a little backpack. I have a video, a long old video of 15 things to pack into a bag, uh, so you might want to check that out. Oh, and then there's also craft services, which is my favorite place to go. You get to go over there and you get to eat food like bananas and muffins and chips and coffee. That's usually what it is. Sometimes you get some more gourmet items, but it's usually the Costco thing. Those little rolls, you know, with the meat and cheese in them and peanuts, licorice. But it's my favorite place to go because I'm always hungry. You want to make sure that you are, that that craft services is for you, that you're allowed to. Sometimes if you're an extra on a shoot, the extras aren't allowed to eat the food. They've got their own area and their own craft services. So make sure you know that you're able to eat the food. If somebody says, oh, here's craft services, then that's usually an indicator that you can go over there. And also don't overeat, don't pig out, don't be there all the time because that food is for everybody and the crew is often on set and they wanna come over here and not see that everything's been picked through. When it's your turn to go on set, you will usually be called in onto the set by somebody, the first AD, and the director and the director of photography will meet you and they will block the scene. They'll let you know where you need to move. Uh, somebody will put down strips of tape on the ground if you need to stand in a certain place. That's called your mark and you want to make sure you hit that mark each time. You're gonna, they're going to tell you where to look. They're going to tell you where you should focus uh, during the shot off lens. You might be talking to nobody. Uh, the other actor might be way over here somewhere and, and you're looking there. There's all kinds of little weird things like that you gotta pay attention to and practice. So once the scene is blocked, you'll go usually go back and that's the time when they'll set up all the lights and the cameras and everything like that. And so it's more waiting, more waiting game. When their lighting is set, they will sometimes ask you to stand there so that they can light the set or adjust the camera. Sometimes they'll have a stand-in come in, sometimes they'll have a, a crew member come in uh, and you just should do it. they ask you to do. No big deal. Then you will be called to set and the sound person, if you're speaking, will mic you up. They'll run a wireless mic, attach it to your body or your clothes somehow, make sure it's on. Once that's done, don't touch your mic. And uh, I have a video about mic etiquette uh, that you might want to watch for some more details. But basically, do not touch your mic. Don't turn it on or off. Uh, don't leave set without telling the sound person that you're going. And especially, don't go to the bathroom without telling the sound person you're going. Let the sound person know you're going to the bathroom by saying, I'm going 10-1, which means I'm tinkling. Or 10-2, which means I'm pooping diarrhea. <laughs> it doesn't really mean that. But um, you, you don't want them to listen to you going to the bathroom on set, so make sure somebody knows. And in fact, it's a good idea to always let the first AD or somebody you know, in your pipeline there know that you are leaving set. Never leave set without telling somebody. And then you will do your scenes. You know, you're gonna go in and you're probably usually gonna start with the establishing shot. So this is a long shot where you do all of the action with all of the actors and you get it all right. Now, I know that when you're first going in, you're a bundle of nerves and, you, and your first take, your first read through is almost always gonna suck a little bit, you know, and that's fine. You usually do this without cameras rolling and then it gives the director a chance to correct things. But a lot of that will be done in the blocking rehearsal. So while you're waiting, you want to be practicing all those things that you were told and making sure your lines are solid. But you're going to run that establishing shot two, three, four times, maybe even more. And you're going to get really good at hitting those marks and saying those lines and it'll just become second nature. And then you're going to start rolling and doing close-ups and over the shoulder shots and different angles and two shots and three shots and all those different things like that. So by the end of that scene, you will be comfortable doing the thing that you were uh, supposed to be doing for that scene. There's always a little bit of nerves and messiness at first, but then after a while you're gonna, you're gonna get used to that. So when the director is trying to get a shot, they're gonna try to get you to give them what they're looking for. And you wanna give them at least one or two good solid takes. Like, yeah, good take. If they say, let's do it again, I want you to try this, listen to them, follow the directions. 
And then as you're moving into other shots, uh, if you're doing like the fourth or fifth take, you want to try to give your editor and your director, director a few different options. You want to, you know, stress different words, maybe give a little bit more intensity or a little less intensity, maybe laugh one line off or become serious, different reaction shots, things like that. You don't want to get too far off the rails, but you want to give them a little bit of options with editing. Don't always be so very robotic with the way you say your lines. Be, just be expressive. Be ready to play around and try something different. You might have an idea of where you want to go and the director is going to send you off in this idea. It's okay to talk to them about those kind of things and make sure that things are gelling, but time is money and they just want to get certain shots. Film is all about giving an editor hundreds of little shots that they can then tell the story. Your job is not to tell the story. Your job is to live in your character with the words that are given to you and the actions that are given to you. And then it's the director and editor's job to tell the story and to put you in whatever light they want to put you in. So that that's something to expect as well. When you're on camera listening to another actor do their scenes, you want to make sure that you're reacting appropriately to the things that they say because a lot of um, camera work is your face when you're not talking. So make sure that you are um, paying attention to that. You wanna know where your character is in your story arc from beginning to finish. What is this scene? What level of emotion do I need to be at? And all those little factors, you know, where am I in terms of how I look, how, I, how old am I, all those kind of things, depending on the script. You, you want to figure all that arc out in advance um, without having to rely on anybody else to tell you that. And keep an eye out as an actor for continuity. Uh, make sure that when you pick something up with one hand in one shot that you're always picking it up with that same hand. Tell yourself, this is how full my glass was. This is this was in my hand. I picked it up on this line. Those are the kinds of things that you wanna to try to get the same every single time. When you're on set, be respectful of the crowd. When, you know, cut is called, you can have a moment of relief, you can have a little laugh. There can be some blooper time and things like that. And, uh, you know, people bond and, and giggle and stuff, but be serious, be focused, listen to what's being told of you, and stay out of people's ways, because they'll, they'll be moving things around, they'll be saying, hot, hot sticks coming through, and, you know, all these other commands and stuff like that. You just kinda wanna get out of the way and do what you're told. What if you're, doing something really complex like a, a special effects day or or you know explosions and bullets or maybe you have to do a little stunt fall or something like that or maybe you've got a huge monologue and there's lots of lines and you're really nervous about that well it's it's good to be prepared be as solid on those things as you can go in there knowing your lines and knowing your character and all that stuff but be flexible as well and don't worry about it because You've got a whole bunch of people keeping your eyes out for you and, and they're gonna get the shot that they need and they're gonna do it in whatever way they need to. So if it's a complex stunt and it's not working in one shot, uh, they're gonna break it down into a multiple shots. You fall on this one, you get hit on this one. It's just gonna be little moments. That's what editing's all about. So just nail those moments. After you're done shooting, if you're released for the day, you will probably go back to wardrobe. They'll take your uh, makeup and, and costume back off. You want to then go and check with the first AD again or whoever you checked in at the beginning and let them know that you're done for the day. You may need to sign some paperwork, some waivers. You might need to get paid, who knows? So always make sure that they know that you're leaving before you leave. You just wanna have fun. You wanna enjoy yourself and you want to uh, really relish these moments because every new day on a film set is a new day. It's a new experience and there's all sorts of challenges. Did I miss anything? Did I miss anything? I can't say it enough. It's it's a fun experience even when it's stressful and whatnot. Being on a film set is ex super exciting. There could be, uh, you know, elaborate sets or, or really funky locations, but you're gonna meet new people, you're gonna have some laughs, you're gonna have some downtime, and you're gonna have some misery as well. So just be prepared for anything and try to enjoy it as much as possible. Soak it all in because, you know, sometimes those sets are, those experiences are few and far between, so you wanna enjoy them when you can. Hey, I know I've babbled on a little bit long, so it, when you watch my next video, just let it play in the background and, and go have a sandwich or something. <laughs>
But uh, I, I appreciate you watching my stuff as always. See you next time. Bye!